Hey everyone, Jeff Sire from The Practical Drummer here. I want to show you a polyrhythm in 5-4. My last video was in 7-4, but playing in 5-4 can be fun too. And I'm going to show you the 4 over 5, okay? So if I have 16th notes in 5-4 on the snare drum, 1 and a 2 and a 2 and a 2 and a 5 and a 1, what I want to do is I want to accent every 5th one and that will give me four evenly spaced beats over the five, okay? So it's going to shift hands though because it's an odd number. So what it's going to do is I'm going to hit the one, the E of two, the and of three, and the duh of four. All right, and I'll bring it up to a tom. One, two, three, four, five. So that's basically what's going on with the rhythm that I'm going to be playing. Again, I'm a little bit up to speed. Two, three, four. Okay, so that can actually be a kind of a cool fill uh, if you just, again, I'm playing hand to hand, right, left, right, left, instead of accenting on the beat. With, like with 16th notes on every quarter note, that's every four notes. I'm adding a 16th note, so now it's going to be uh, shifting hands because it's an odd number, right? So, how that applies to the groove though is since now we know uh, that it's the one, the E of two, the and of three, and the duh of four, if I play eighth notes up here on the ride, quarter notes in the foot, and now I just play one on the bass drum, E of two on the snare, and of three on the bass drum again, and then the duh of four, you get this cool four over five uh, drum beat. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the basic groove. Now I want to add a couple of different bass drums in to fatten it up a little bit. And then I'm going to actually uh, roll my left hand on all the E's and does very quietly, except for the E of two and the duh of four where I snap for a backbeat. It's really going to be like this. One and so all the E's and does are here, except for the, very softly, except for the E of two and the duh of four. Uh, which fall in line with the polyrhythm. But I'm also going to play, instead of one on the bass, I'm just going to go one and, and then right after the and of three, I'm going to also hit the four. So it's going to be one and two and a three and four and five and a one and two, okay? One and two and a three and a four and five and a Okay? So two. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to add, just to fatten it up a little bit more, some triple strokes. One E and, two E and, okay? So re really, uh, one E and, two E and, three E and. So all the, the first three notes of the sixteenths and every beat, I'm just leaving the does out, right? That's kind of a cool beat. So you can uh, do different things. You can put the left hand over here, like on a timbali. Or I also have another uh, low, kind of a lower snare. Maybe the tom. Uh, you could play it on the tom. So all of the ghost notes could be on the tom, and then you just bring it down to the the snare drum for the accents. So that, that would sound like this.
So you can see, just by putting the left hand on a different sound source, makes it even a little bit fatter and more robust, right? So you're not playing just on the snare drum. Uh, you could do that. You could also, since the, we're pedaling the quarter notes, you could hit any of the does, uh, except for the, the duh of four, with, because you're hitting the snare and the duh of four in the polyrhythm. You know, if you hit any does, one and does, two and you get that kind of crisp sound. So let's just try uh, bringing the left hand from the duh of five up to the, the duh here, and you get that little uh, crisp, crisp sound, okay? So again, I'm playing everything basically the same. I'm just taking the left hand off the duh of five, which is a ghost note, putting it up here. Two, three, four, five. try to also add the dub one in there I gotta figure that out uh, but it, that would be kind of cool right if you did the dub one uh, gotta figure it out so it's yeah so it'd be uh, one and the two e right so everything would be the same. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. It is right. I didn't add the triple stroke there, but I could do that again. I've just shown you on live TV, I'm coming up with this on the spot, and that's what we need to do in the practice room is to slow it down, fumble the ball, and figure it out. Right? Uh, so I just came up with that idea, I nailed the, the duh of five, but adding the duh of one that was a little bit more tricky. So I had to okay, how does that you know, if it's one and duh, two. One E and a two E. Okay, so that's it. That's the groove, and then it gets into the rest of the, the beat, right? So the sky's the limit. You can come up with anything. You can put your left hand on anything. All the different symbols. You could ride a different symbol over here, you know? You could do this. You could put it on the toms, right? Uh, you could just... You know, something like that, right? Uh, very rhythmic. You could do a different uh, bass drum pattern there too. You could do like a sound. You know, uh, again, it's the same rhythm. I'm doing 16th notes, where I was doing 16th notes between these, just accenting the left hand. Uh, now I'm just bringing it up on the toms, right? or playing between cymbals. Uh, you don't even have to use a snare drum. You could be a little bit more airy with uh, cymbals and hit a, hit a low tom. You could do something like this. One, two, three, four, five. Something like that, right? So, just showing you this polyrhythm is pretty awesome. Uh, it's four over five because I'm in five four, but I'm accenting every fifth sixteenth note, 
which gives us four evenly spaced notes over the, the original five, right? So how you articulate it on the drums is totally up to you. I'm showing you a couple variations, right? So that's it. Try that out. Post a comment. Uh, next time I'll show you some right-hand lead uh, fills in 5-4. Thank you.